I believe I have boiled freedom into five sequential steps. The only reason why money matters is to sustain whatever life that you want. The purpose of money is fun. If we look at money from that context, it frees us up to be much more intentional about the lives that we want. You get to do what you love. You do the things that make you happy. That's freedom. Most people go after the money, but they believe that once they get the money, then they can achieve the freedom. What really happens is the money becomes a distraction. Money becomes the game when the purpose of money is for you to live the life that you want. I believe I have boiled freedom into five sequential steps. And doing them out of order breaks the system. And so we're gonna go into what this looks like. Number one, you gotta know what you want. Decide that you want your life to be different. Decide you want to make more money. The result you want is the life you want. We have to be clear on what it is that we actually want. And when you know that, we're gonna pull that into the present. Number two, cut out. The universe requires you to make a trade. You don't get without giving something up. You have to cut things out of your life for you to open yourself up to something new. And that requires you to be even more intentional about what it is that you want and then cut out the things that don't align with that. And our brains don't like to do that because all our brains see is what we lose in the immediate. We don't see what we gain in the long run. So you have to cut something out in order to create space for you to build what it is that you have decided that you want to build. Number three, expand. Now we have created room for us to expand into something else. In order for us to continue to expand, we'll have to leave something from behind. As you expand, you are deciding what from the past you want to bring forward into the future. What in my life do I want to carry forward? What vision do I have that I want to continue to bring to life? Now it's always about forward progress. And when you expand, new opportunities come up and the cycle continues. Number four. Number four is invest because investing assumes long-term result. The, the more you play the short-term game, the more you compromise the long-term result. And what that forces you to do is think about short-term things, short-term wins, short-term results. And that compromises the long-term exponential growth that you could have if you consistently invested over time in the things that you want. So what that requires is regular practice, regular gives into your relationships, regular investment in your business, regular investment in your brain and your body. And that type of a long-term investment compounds over time. And number five, give. You are never financially free if you're in a take mentality. You have to be operating from a place of, I have something. If you're trying to extract, if you're trying to scam, if you're trying to work the system, you never get financially free. People want the hack, they want the system, they want the formula, they want the push button solution. But the truth is that you are playing your own game and your game is gonna look like no one else's. You still get it with a clear vision of what you want, cutting out the things that hold you back, expanding, investing, and giving. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran from Capitalism.com. We help entrepreneurs build seven-figure businesses. When you're ready for us, we'll be ready for you. And you can start your journey at Capitalism.com slash start.